everyone, Susanna Tunisia here, and welcome to the demonstration video of Insta Member. So, what is Insta Member? Insta Member is an advanced membership plugin with lots of powerful features and has a couple of unique features as well. It has all the features you need and will use. Insta Member is also seamlessly integrated with PayPal, JVSU, Warrior Plus, and most other shopping cart or affiliate platforms including the new Deal Guardian. So in this video, I want to walk you through some of the features so you can see just how powerful and how easy this plugin is to create your own membership site. To speed up this demonstration, I have already activated Insta Member plugin. And as you can see, we are in the dashboard. This is where you can see some stats at, at a glance. You can see a graph and summary that shows your recent income and members for the last 7 days. If you scroll down, you can also see more data on the 10 recent sales made, 10 recent new members, and the 10 most recent logins to the site. Okay, this is a new feed, uh, new, uh, sorry. Okay, this is the new site, so there is not much stats here. Now, the very first thing you need to do before you do anything else is to go through the setup configuration settings. Here in the basic configuration section, you can enter your business name and business address. Scroll down to the membership configuration. Select the currency that you are going to use to sell your product. The membership handler page is the page that acts as a placeholder for login, registration, reset password, edit profile forms, and also for the support desk. All necessary forms will be auto-generated by Insta member as long as the handler page is exist. Normally, Insta member will auto-create the handler page upon plugin application, so you don't have to modify this setting. Next is the membership homepage setting. This setting is mandatory and you cannot leave this blank. You need to create a new page in WordPress and select it for the membership homepage setting. I already have one created, so I'm going to select it. This after logout URL is optional. You can leave it blank or you can put any URL you want your member to see after they log out. Okay, next is the affiliate program configurations. Insta member has the affiliate program built in, so if you wish to sell your product using the direct payment such as PayPal, Paysa, to check out or authorize net, you want to have your own affiliate program for your product, you can do so with Insta member. However, if you use third-party payments such as ClickBank, JVSU, etc., then you do not need to use the Insta member built-in affiliate program. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I will just click on the Update Settings button to save my settings. And the next thing we're going to do is to set up the payment settings. So here you can see there are many payment settings that you can integrate with Insta member. Basically, there are two types of payment in Insta member. The direct payment, you have authorized net to check out PayPal and Paysa. These are the main type of payment in Insta member and integrated with the Insta member's built-in affiliate program management. The other is the third-party payment. One shopping card, ClickBank, WSO Pro, Product Pay, Deal Guardian, JVSU, eJunkie, Nanacast, and DG Results. These are the type of payment that cannot be integrated with Insta Member Built-in Affiliate Program because each already has its own affiliate program management. To start selling your product with Insta Member, you have to integrate Insta Member with at least one payment system, whether it's a direct or third-party payment system. Insta Member also allows you to integrate with more than one payment system. If you want to sell a product via PayPal and ClickBank at the same time, then you can. If you want to sell this product with JVSU and the other with PayZa, then you can too. Simply click on the Payment System tab that you want to integrate 
and you can read the on-screen instruction on how to integrate it with Insta member. Once you set up at least one payment system, then you can create a product. For this demo, I'm going to use PayPal as well as ClickBank and JVSU. Let's move on to the email setting. Click the email tab here and this is where you can set up the email option and notification emails. You can also edit the email template by clicking the edit template link like this welcome email. If you make any changes, don't forget to click the update settings. Next is the integration setup. This setting is optional. But if you want to automatically add your new customers to your autoresponder campaign, then you have to set up this in this section. Currently, Insta members support Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, iContact, Constant Contact, Inmika Mail, and Infusionsoft. Simply follow the on screen instruction to integrate with your favorite autoresponder account. So, in this demo, I'm going to use GetResponse. You can see the other integration section here. This is where you can integrate Insta member with your S3 account if you want to protect your product files in S3 from public access. Once you're done, don't forget to click on the update settings button to save any changes you made. This feature from editor is optional because Insta member has already auto-generated these forms for you. But you have the option to add more fields to your forms here. For the purpose of this video, I won't go through these sections. By the way, there will be a PDF and help video on each of these sections. Next step is to add a new product. Click on the product tab and then click on the add product button. Enter the product name. Enter the sales page URL for this product. Choose the payment type, lifetime or one-time payment subscription recurring payment you can also enable try payment if you wish or free membership set the price of the product and on the accepted payment section you can choose the direct payment that you are going to use to sell this product direct payment system that hasn't been integrated with insta member will not appear here if you remember during the setup configuration i enabled paypal Bank and JVSU. So that's why if you go back to this page, there is only one option that is PayPal. The third party payment option, in this case Clickbank and JVSU, the setting will appear only after you save the product. Next, choose the download page or post for this product in the membership download page field. The post page must be created in WordPress to, so Insta members can automatically protect it from non-members. You can set the order process of this product using the drag and drop bars in the order step section. If you want your visitors to register as a membership account first before making payment, then you can drag and drop the registration bar at the top and followed by the payment bar. If you set the order step to payment registration, then an option to enable auto registration will appear. If you turn it on, Insta member will automatically create an account for them. The after purchase redirect URL is optional and you can leave this blank. 
you can use this to put a custom thank you page or maybe one time over sales page or etc. Now you can click the save product button below to add the product. Now once you save the product, you can see the third party payment settings. So let's open up the third party payment settings. Again, if you remember during the setup configuration, I've enabled Clickbank and JVSU for the third party payment. So you see these two options here and by default it will set as off. Now you can turn it on. Scroll down to find the settings. Each payment may have a different set of settings. Simply follow the on-screen instruction to properly integrate Insta member with each payment. Affiliate program settings. Please note that you have to use the direct payment in order to enable the built-in affiliate program. Let's move on to the autoresponder settings. Click the plus button to open up each setting. Again, this is option won't appear if you haven't integrated your autoresponder account in the setup configuration integration page. Turn on the autoresponder integration option. Select your autoresponder system from the drop down. Then you should see your campaign list name that you've created in, the, in your autoresponder account. Go to webinar integration. If you want your new members or customer to be automatically signed up to your webinars, then you can. So after you create a webinar in your GoToWebinar account, you can copy the webinar registration URL and enter it here. And you can integrate up to seven webinars per product. Save product. Next, I'm going to show you how to manage content protection. You can select posts or pages that you want to protect on your site. And in this demo, I'm going to choose pages because I have a few pages that I have created earlier that I want to protect. The pages that I want to protect, training videos and profile. So I select both pages and I click on apply protection. You can also drip feed your content. So if you want a member to access the content after a few days after the sign up or weeks or month, years, you can do it here or you can set up the exact date. Or perhaps you want to set up the expiry date, you can do that as well. Other than posts and pages, you can also protect your local files and you can also protect your files that you hosted on Amazon S3. I've already set up the Amazon integration in the setup configuration. If you have already done the integration, your file in your Amazon S3 account will be displayed here and you can protect it with Insta member. Okay, next is to add payment buttons to your sales page. This is direct payment URL for PayPal that you can add to your sales page. You can also change the payment button image. And you can use this HTML code in your sales page if you are using HTML page. If you are using WordPress, you can add this short code to your sales page. I'm going to use the short code as I already created a WordPress page here. Add the short code. Update. And let's view the page. Click the payment button. And the visitor will be directed to the PayPal payment page directly. Now let's change the order step to registration and payment.
refresh our sales page, click the payment button, and you'll see the visitor will be directed to the register before making payment. One of the cool features we have is the auto switch payment. This feature allows you to use more than one platform marketplace. So if you want to use JVSU or Warrior Plus at the same time, you can. The cool thing is that you do not need to create separate sales page for each marketplace. You only need to create one sales page and the system will display the correct payment button based on where the traffic comes from. So if the visitor comes from JVSU, he or she will see the JVSU payment button. Another cool thing about this feature is that it can save your time. Imagine if you need to edit or add some stuff on your sales page, now you only have to edit one page versus several. Same thing, you can use the HTML code if you are using HTML page. And the short code if you are using WordPress page. Another feature is the built-in licensing system. You can use it to license your software or plugins. InstaBuilder has few other features like one-click upsell options. This feature will enable you to get upsell and downsell options to the product that you will be having in your Insta member powered site. This feature can be used only if the user is using direct payment. The discounts feature is only available for developer license users. With this feature, you can offer a coupon or discount. You can set the number of coupon that you want to generate, how many times each coupon can be used, set the expiry date. You also have the option to enable the share discount feature. So by using this feature, you're, you're giving your visitor an option to get a discounted price if they share your sales page. You can do all the settings here. Below is where you can do the order form settings. Manage members affiliate. You can search page on the user's name, email, etc. You can see the payment history. Access log. Sales report. This is where you can see your sales report. You can do a quick search, start date and date keyword. Manage license. This is where you can manage your license. You can also use the search function, use the filter. You can see how many times this license is installed. You can see more details like the domain name, server IP, user IP, activation date. This is one of the powerful features of Insta Member, where a support desk is integrated in the membership configuration without the hassle of setting it up. It automatically generates a support department for every product you have added into your site. So if you click this link, you can see your support page. 